When we add and subtract positive and negative numbers, it's like a battle. They are battling each other on the number line. So let's take some examples. Let's say that we have negative 3 plus 5. Now we know from class that the negatives are on this side of the 0 and the positives are on this side of the 0. So if we start at 0 and we say negative 3, we go 1, a 2, a 3, negative. But then to go positive 5, we've got to go back the other direction. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we end up on positive 2. Positive has won this battle. All right, let's do another one. Let's say uh, negative 2 minus 4. All righty. So we're going to start here at 0. We're going to go negative. So we're going to go negative 1, negative 2. And then we're also going to continue negative, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And we ended up on negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, negative 6, and negatives won this battle. And let's do one more. Let's say positive 5 minus 2. So we're going to start here at 0. We're going to go positive 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we're going to go negative 2. 1, 2, and we're going to end up on positive 1, 2, and 3. Now, if we look at this as a battle, the one that has the most or the biggest physical number is going to win out. So 5 was the bigger physical number than 3, so we're going to end up with more positives. In this case down here, 5 was the bigger positive, the bigger physical number than negative 2, so our answer is going to be positive. In this case, we went the same direction, so the negatives win all around. And that brings up the song we did in class, which was, same signs, add and keep, different signs, subtract, and keep the sign of the larger number, then you'll be exact.